Hi everyone, uh, Robert here, and I'm back for another dose of Linux and a coffee. Uh, gotta have my coffee, of course. Um, and uh, I just got through setting up uh, something on my mail server. Uh, it's called PF Logsum, and it's a little program that will uh, unzip, create uh, reports for your mail.log file and uh, you can set this up to send these reports to any email address of your choice and uh, it's uh, got a lot of really useful information about uh, who all has been sending receiving mail which domains are, are using your mail server uh, how many mails uh, have been sent and received and at what times all that kind of stuff so uh, I think it's a very useful utility especially if you're running your own mail server if you follow the uh, previous video and have one set up then you're familiar with what we're doing here so uh, I've got the terminal open here you can see uh, this is our YouTube test server uh, that we've been using it's running on my ESXi server and we already have uh, our postfix and dovecot uh, email server set up on here uh, but we want to set this up to send those log files to us uh, on a daily basis so I'm going to try to keep this video quite a bit shorter than some of the other ones uh, because it's really a, a short process. It doesn't take very long to set this up. So we'll go ahead and dive right in and uh, get started. Uh, let me get a drink of my coffee first. Got to do that. Okay. So first thing we want to do is... Uh, if you haven't updated your repositories yet you may want to go ahead and and do that uh, I've already updated them on the server so we'll go ahead and do a sudo app get install and that we're gonna install pf log sum and that's with two M's and we'll do a dash Y to uh, bypass the disk check and we'll go ahead and install that quick and painless um, now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a script uh, that's going to uh, unzip uh, well we're going to set up our log rotate um, to rotate the files every 24 hours for our mail.log file it's going to create it as uh, it's going to create a zip file uh, every day uh, on that rotation and it's going to name the file mail.log.0 and it'll go one, two, three. Uh, instead of starting with one like it normally does from our, our syslog and uh, it's going to compress those files uh, but then we're going to set up a script that's going to take the log uh, mail.log.0.gz the, the, the gzip compressed file, it's going to unzip that file read it uh, lay everything out in a nice neat uh, report for us email it to us and then it's going to rezip that file and recreate us a fresh log file so we can uh, continue logging as normal uh, so uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our log rotate so now that we've installed uh, PF Logsum uh, we'll go ahead and do a sudo nano uh, that's the editor I like to use and we'll do etc slash log rotate uh, dot conf and we'll hit enter so we'll come all the way down here to the bottom uh, past the line that says system specific logs may be configured here so this is where we're going to set up our uh, our new log file so we'll just do a uh, slash ver slash log slash mail dot log and then we'll hit a space and we're gonna put a opening bracket that's a little squiggly one and we'll hit enter and tab over and uh, our first uh, argument will be missing ok and we'll hit enter and tab and then we'll do this daily and we'll rotate seven and then we'll uh, create and then we'll also whoops we'll also compress and then we're going to start uh, the files labeling with an extension of dot zero so we'll put start space zero 
and then we'll hit enter and we'll just add a closing bracket to the end and that's all we need to do to set up our log rotation so we'll write the file and exit okay now we're going to create our postfix uh, report script so we'll uh, let's go ahead and change directories into our user local sbin directory and we can see there's nothing in there right now but we're going to create a file so let's do sudo nano postfix underscore report dot sh and this is going to be our executable script so um, we need to start this off with a pound sign and an exclamation mark and we'll do slash bin slash sh and hit enter so now in all caps put path here we're going to define our our paths for uh, the script so we'll do user slash local slash sbin and then we'll put a colon and then we'll do a slash user slash local uh, slash bin and then we'll put a, another colon and then we'll do a slash user slash sbin and a colon and then a user slash bin colon slash sbin colon if I can find the key <laughs> and then slash bin let me make sure I got all this correct uh, I've got user slash local slash sbin colon user local bin user sbin user bin sbin bin okay because as you know my spelling and my fat fingers get the best of me sometimes so I gotta check over this a little bit um, now there's a bunch of I would like to mention there's quite a few tutorials uh, online different websites and such that that show how to get this up and running <clears throat> but I've ran into problems uh, trying to follow those uh, because there's uh, some problems in this script right here and we'll go over that um, so if you tried this before and failed then I'll show you uh, a good workaround for it because uh, a lot of the ones you'll find online and I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find any tutorials on how to set this up so I thought I needed to make one for y'all um, but uh, f first let's go ahead and define our, our unzip uh, line here so we'll do g unzip and then uh, we're going to unzip the uh, mail.log.0.gz file that it's going to create so we'll do a var slash log slash mail.log.0.gz so that's going to be the argument that unzips our file for us now this next line is going to be uh, our mail command that's going to send the email to us um, we need to start that off with a pf log sum and then our file that we want to send the contents of so we'll do slash ver slash log slash log slash mail dot log dot zero because after it gets unzipped it's going to read pf is going to read that file and it's going to send the contents to us so after that we'll just put a space and a pike and another space now a lot of the tutorials say to use for mail and that's where the problem comes in because if you don't have another utility installed that that can use that command it's not going to send any email so since we're using postfix and i believe in the mail server tutorial we talked about installing mail utils uh... and if you haven't installed that then you'll want to do that now before uh, you finish or before this process will work but just uh, install mail utils and then uh, we can just simply use the uh, mail command uh, to send our email so uh, all we'd have to do here let me uh, bring mine up here make sure that we get the right right commands uh,
Okay, so our command that we want to put in is just mail-s, so that's telling it to send with the following subject line. So we'll, in quotations, here's where we'll put our subject. Uh, you can put whatever you want. Uh, I've just put like mail stats and then close the quotation marks and then we'll add the email address of where we want to send it. Uh, in our mail server video, I believe uh, robert.com was the domain we used and the user was Robert. So we would just put like robert at robert.com and you would put whatever email address you wanted uh, these logs to be sent to and then you can define a return address here and uh, it's going to be sent from the root uh, email account uh, so if your machine host name is different from your mail server host name uh, you could just uh, you can just define here you could put like root at robert.com and that's gonna be what uh, address it shows as the reply to or the return address so that's all we need to do for our our mail command to send the contents of that log file uh, to our email so we'll space down a couple of spaces or one space there and then the next line is gonna be we're gonna rezip that file and it will create a new one for us uh, as well but so we'll just do a gzip ver slash log slash mail dot log dot zero so that's going to rezip that file for us and then we'll end the script with exit space zero and that's our script that's all we need to do so we'll go ahead and write the file and exit and that'll be sure and use postfix to send that mail since we've already got it installed I mean that's what we should be using so uh, now we need to make the script executable so we'll do sudo change mod and we're gonna do 755 uh, and that'll just be on our postfix underscore report dot sh be sure you're in that uh, user local sbin directory and just hit enter Okay, now we're going to add a cron tab entry that's going to run this script for us uh, every day at 7 a.m. So we'll just do a, a sudo cron tab dash e. Okay, so we can edit the file and then we'll just come down here and we want to add this line that you see here. It's going to be 0 space 7 space asterisk space asterisk space asterisk and then we'll add a space and put our path and our script so we'll do user slash local slash sbin slash postfix underscore report dot sh and then we'll add a space and we'll put the and sign and the greater sign a space and then slash dev slash null and that's all we need to add to our cron tab entry so we'll, uh, once you've entered all that in, just uh, write the file and exit. And then that's, that's all you have to do. Uh, that's, that'll set it up uh, to where it'll take care of all the log rotations. You want to reboot at this point to make sure uh, the new uh, rsyslog and all that stuff takes effect. Now I believe, I'm not sure yet because I haven't gone a full... 24 hours since I, I set this up on my mail server but uh, uh, the log rotation should work properly if it doesn't uh, it could be because of the R syslog so uh, we can uh, actually go into let's go into Etsy log rotate dot D directory and you can see there the R syslog file. If we do uh, an editor on that and take a look, uh, the first entry is just for the R syslog. But if you look down below, uh, you can see it has all these other log files, and it's telling it to rotate, uh, and it'll uh, do that weekly, and it'll only keep four weeks worth of logs. It's rotating every four, so. Uh, if you have trouble with the log rotation, you might can come up here and remove the ver slash log slash mail dot log entry 
from this file and restart your server and that may correct the problem now I don't know it's possible that the logrotate.conf will actually override this file I believe it will but I don't know that for a fact yet so if you have problems refer back to this and you try deleting that line and that that may fix the problem um, but otherwise that uh, that should be all you need to do uh, so I hope this has been helpful like I said I couldn't find any videos on this so I thought I it was my duty to create one uh, because I mean logs are great and if you uh, have them set up to where you can get them emailed to you then even better uh, so I'll show you what uh, the report looks like you'll get a report emailed to you like this and it shows uh, all the messages sent and received uh, how many bytes they were <clears throat> shows daily traffic hourly traffic how many mails were sent at what time uh, it'll also show you uh, what host names uh, access the server uh, as far as sending and receiving mail through the server uh, I have seen reports that show relay attempts and stuff like that so um, it's a good deal so I hope this has been helpful to you and uh, if it's helped you out give me that thumbs up I, was, I appreciate it, it it uh, really helps and um, don't forget to subscribe uh, there'll be a lot of uh, other great stuff more Linux and a coffee coming so until next time hope you all have a great day and I'll see you then bye bye